Hello everyone, UK here. A few days ago, I grinded and unlocked the brand new Pirate Legend Curse. Within a few hours of releasing that video, I had so, so many of you comment and DM me asking the best method to get to tier 100, and it's actually quite simple. I grinded out season one in a little under four days, so in this video, I'll be going through my approach to getting all the way to tier 100 super fast. If you're brand new here, please click that subscribe button to support the channel, and if you enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up. Now let's take a look at just how much you can pay pal rare to unlock the Pirate Legend Curse for your character. So to make this clear that trials in regards to Renown, these are small ways to boost Renown to help complete tiers. Completing all trials will not guarantee you tier 100. This seems to be a bit of a misconception as people are working hard to complete trials, expecting to be tier 100 by the time you complete the last trial. By just sailing you can earn Renown. Trials though are good for new players as this is the first time they will be completing these deeds as the majority of these deeds are currently commendations. So essentially completing these as a new player, you're completing a deed within seasons along with completing the commendation for some of them. And then for current players, trials are basically a way to revisit old commendations that you've completed with a little bonus of our 9 to add you to your season 1 progress. And now on to fast progression, the answer is quite simple. World Events. Completing World Events in Sea of Thieves is considered epic renown. This is the highest single amount of renown that you can earn for completing a task within the game. I was completing every active world event that was spawning. One session lasted just over 10 hours with my crew completing every event that spawned, with a bit of PvP in between as well. The key here is once you've completed a world event, collect your loot as fast as possible and sail out from the island to allow a chance for a Kraken to spawn. For those that don't know, Krakens can only spawn in between active world events, meaning that when you complete a skull fort in the gap between the next event spawning, a Kraken has a very high chance to spawn if boats are in open waters. Although once you see the next world event like an Ashen Winds or a Flameheart, a Kraken cannot spawn. So in between sailing from event to event, you need to engage in every Megalodon, Kraken and Skelly ship you see. Completing each of these will give you a large amount of renown. So during a sail, if you hear a Meg, raise those sails or drop the anchor and get ready to kill the Megalodon. If you see a Skelly ship, don't ignore it as you need to see this as a piece of renown to earn. Sail over to it and start attacking. So in between your seals from event to event, if you have time, start fishing. Yes, you can earn renown just for fishing. Once you've caught a fish or picked up some Meg or Kraken meat, start cooking it. Then once you're done, start eating it. These three actions can also boost your renown. So to finish off the video, here is a quick overview on how to approach your sessions when grinding for fast renown. Spawn into a server, collect resources and sail to the active event. Once you have the world event completed, loot up and get ready for the next event spawn. Then while you're sailing to the next event, kill every Meg and skeleton ships you see. If you have any free time, pull out your fishing rod and get started. Then complete the next event, rinse and repeat. Remember, just sailing your boat you can earn renown. When you bundle everything together, you're ready to earn some fast renown to help you get that brand new Pirate Legend curse. See, I told you it was pretty simple. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments section what level of renown you are and if you're fierce enough to tackle every event you see. Until the next one, thanks for watching.